Here's five different kinds of creatures that uh, you can use in your D&D campaigns. That's from this book, Beast and Behemoths. The link is in the description box. And if you smash like for me, I would appreciate it. Werebore. Number one, werebore. How about like a pig running around with snout and like uh, big tusks and everything and like just turns into a humanoid and just starts like wailing on you. Yeah, you don't want that. So like uh, watch out for the, the tusks and uh, don't get thrown on the ground because these things will like tear you up. All right. Number two, how about a were rat? How about a rat that's like uh, a lycanthrope? I mean, that's not cool. Nobody wants to see that. Rats are nasty enough, and now you got a, a rat that can like wield weapons. Oh my gosh, that could be really cool for a campaign, though. Number three, how about a were tiger? What? Tigers can be werewolf type thing. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It could like hit you with the sword and then pounce on you. Think about the sneak attacks. I would give this thing probably like a plus six on its initiative roll, you know, and probably have some stealth too because it has cat-like uh, qualities. That could be really cool. Think about that. All right. Number four, you get a werewolf. Everybody loves werewolves. I mean, there's so much history and stories about them. You know, you could have your characters have to have silver weapons in order to do any damage. So, like, their other stuff doesn't do any good. Or uh, maybe maybe you could have psychic damage or something like that if it's smart enough. Anyway, I think this would be a really good uh, campaign uh, uh, boss battle, maybe. You know, werewolf that's in charge of, like, or maybe it's a person that turns into a werewolf. And I'll give you a bonus one, number four, five. I did promise you five. A corpse flower. A giant flower that eats people. Oh my gosh. And then you can be alerted from this terrible stench while you're approaching it. And if your characters do go in the course of, into the, uh, the scent of the stench, then they would have to deal with this because who would do that? Little kids. That's who would do it. Cause I teach kids how to play D and D. So I'm always looking for interesting, uh, types of monsters. So anyway, that's all comes from this book, Beast and Behemoths. Great book. I suggest you get it and I'll see you on the next one. Smash the like, subscribe, it helps me. Tell me if you like this, I'll do more of these videos. Thanks.